Hi everybody and welcome back uh, to another episode of Sniper Relief 4 with commentary. Uh, so I did half of this mission in the previous video and now I'm just sort of picking off the last four objectives before I, I'm basically done with this mission. Um, but just to get this out of the way at the beginning, uh, feel free to leave a like with that like button, leave a comment down below, anything you like. Uh, I'm not doing it in this uh, walkthrough at the moment, but I'm thinking of my next walkthrough adding a little feature in the beginning where I ask a question, just a random question, and then you guys can just answer the question down below in the comments and discuss it. I'll be doing that probably in the next walkthrough, I'll come up with like a list of uh, questions or whatever, and I'll just pop them off in the beginning of each video. And yeah, remember to hit that uh, subscribe button. Oh shit. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Yep, just alerted everybody owes you. Yeah, remember to hit that, uh, again, I keep saying it, hit that subscribe button just to keep up to date with all the uh, future walkthroughs that I'll be doing and uh, show your support. Anyway, let's go and kill Nazis. Of which there are many. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's a guy down there. Oh yeah, that guy's coming up the stairwell, aren't they? Oh. Are you still alive? Oh. What is interesting in this game is that you can use the rifle for pretty much anything, like short range, long range. Not many games are, are able to pull that type of thing off. But I guess it's something they sort of they perfected over the course of the games. There you go, there he is. This is gone okay. Hey, there you go, alright. Got rid of the harbour master, who was collaborating with the Nazis. Oh, they're coming up. So they haven't 
as to my knowledge, as far as this game is concerned, they haven't announced a sequel to it. I was quite surprised to see it actually on the PlayStation Plus August lineup. Didn't think of, uh, well, it's kind of hit and a miss, isn't it, with the PlayStation Plus stuff. Either they do really good, like modern stuff, or well, I say modern stuff, they do like, you know, more modernish games, or they do like older games, like quirky games. So it's kind of a, you know, sort of random mix of crap for PlayStation Plus. Hopefully they announce a sequel this soon. As far as I know, DLC hasn't been released for it for a while. So yeah, I'm looking forward to a sequel. Oh shit, that's a lot of them. Who's shooting at me? Okay, I can get. A, I couldn't get a beat on him. Yeah, so it's like I was saying, take uh, like next like next month's PS Plus. Have I shut that down? I haven't shut that down. Climb. Or did I? Yeah, I did. The light was on, threw me off a little bit. But yeah, take the PlayStation Plus next month. It's um, Arkham Knight and something else. But I was like, Arkham Knight? Really? That came out like nearly five years ago. There's a walkthrough for that on my channel. Uh, back when it originally came out. Because I, I, I got it at launch. I grabbed everything useful. And it's like, you really must be scraping the bottom of the barrel if that's the type of games. Like, pick a new game, at least. Pick one of the, you know, not, not like a... Like, not like a recently released game, like Control or whatever, but just something new, or just something like more indie, like The Forest is one of the games I I recently uh, did. I recently sort of uh, did a com like a commentary com there, commentated walkthrough for, and yeah, just just release something like that, you know, something a decent. Decent you know, quality, uh, put a lot of love and effort into making it, and you can see that when you're playing it because there's a lot of different things you can do. The world is just so full of life, but instead they just throw out the three. triple A tat. I mean, I wouldn't, yeah, I mean, they could, say for, like, October, they could just put out Wolfenstein, the new Colossus, DLC for that, no, not DLC, but I'm not, uh, the actual, like, no, the actual game for PS Plus, they could do that, and they could do that because the game is literally worth, like, 8 quid in CEX, probably, like, 20 in-game, no in-game, but in CEX it's, like, 8 quid, just put it on PS Plus. It's a brilliant game, and people should be playing it. Just throw it on PS Plus. Three guys in decent positions, I would have thought. All the snipers.
Oh god. Oh, I missed. I keep missing. Nice, yeah, so that, that's my pretty much, that's my like, thing now for this video. I want this Wolfenstein the New Colossus. Wolfenstein the New Colossus to be my, uh, to be like, you know, the next PlayStation Plus game after Batman and whatever else it was. I, I just remember being thoroughly unimpressed when I read the, the two. And it's kind of annoying that it's been reduced to two. Because occasionally I still jump on the PlayStation 3. Uh, Last time it was basically a jump on the, it was a jump on the PlayStation 3 so I can try out all the back catalogue of PS Plus games I unlocked, I was given. Um, because some of them I haven't tried before, and you know, I was I was quite happy to do that again. We didn't do that again, and then they were like, nope, we're not doing any more for PS Vita, which was a failed console anyway. Unfortunately, it was good, but you know, they just never really quite took off. It was meant to be their like Nintendo Switch, I suppose. Just never really took off. And they still do good. That's full of guns. Do there you go. Am I done? No. What's this? Get to a radio. All oh, right, no, I have to call in the uh, bombers, don't I? Don't I? Oh, fair. Um, yeah, but the weird thing is with the Vita, they still have back like they still use compat they think that I'm gonna explain it. They still sort of make it compatible with the PS4 in that certain games can be played on that like um, sort of if you wanna leave the room and play on the beta you can. You can sort of connect it to your PS4 and it's sort of you know, you play the game on the PS4 but you're playing it through your Vita. Sort of like the pick up and play feature the Switch has. You just pick it up and leave, pick up, uh, pull it out of the dock and then you know, walk around with it, etc. It's kind of like that. I've used it once or twice. I wasn't really a big fan of it. But games still, even though the, the Vita is more or less a failed console, the ga games still have that fu function for some reason. Anyway, what's this? Finito! Alright, that went pretty well. Uh, Completed Lorino Dockyard, an explosive revelation. It kills 117, ghost kills 6. I'm sure I had more than that, but whatever. I'll go with it. Headshot 79, accuracy 38, the longest shot 137.4. Completion time. That's the second mission in a row now that I've gotten one hour, one minute on. Uh, an explosive revelation. Lorino Dockyard. Progress to perfection. 75%. Wow. Uh, Ab... Abrenza Monastery. Sure, I'll start this and then... Because um, it wasn't actually that long in that last one. But that last mission didn't take as long as I was expecting. So, I'll do this one. Uh, normal select mission, obviously that mission. Normal difficulty. Uh, oh yeah, there you go. I've added, I can edit the skill tree. Every 10 levels, it looks like, I can choose something. So either improved search, require extra item ammo from searches. 
I'll that one. That one. I'll go with that one. The uh, reduced explosion damage. That one, I think. The slow heart rate increase. An extra ammo. Anyway. Let's begin. A Brunza Monastery. I'll, I'll have to sit through that opening sequence sometime when I have to talk to Weaver and all that. The mission at the dockyard proves it. Production of Kessler's missiles must be in full swing. The components I found couldn't have been for any other purpose. Sure, we wrecked the operation. But how many of these components have already been shipped to Alagra? How close are the Nazis to mass production of the new missile? One thing's for certain. The Mafia were the ones disrupting the operation at the dockyard. It's a connection OSS are keen to exploit. Especially given Mafia involvement in Operation Husky, in which the Allies took Sicily. Weaver wants me to meet Salvatore Danelli, an infamous mob kingpin. He thinks I can convince him to work with the Allies and the Partisans. But everything comes at a price. I'm gonna take a break from fighting Nazis to do a mob hit. Is that what he's saying? He's like, yeah, I need you to, f I need you to go and kill this other guy who's head of another crime family. I was like, yeah, I'm kind of fighting a war here. And he's like, come on. Although that's more like the American mob, but you know, come on. Uh, I, I feel bad about interrupting him. He's clearly deep in thought looking at that wine. Is he the only person here? There was no point in letting me control the character. Signor Dinelli. Call me Salvatore. It will as a Salvatore. Are we not friends? You and I. We have uh, mutual enemies. We'd like to help you dispose of them. I would like that too, my friend. You can begin uh, with Piero Capo, the leader of the Black Brigade. The man uh, is a barbarian. Is that so? The monastery is full of artworks, paintings, sculptures, beautiful works. I have it on good authority that Cabo plans to remove those works. To sell? But of course, such treasures would fetch a great sum on the black market. But of course. If we knew how he plans to move them, then we could do something about it. Of course. He reminds me of someone. I can't remember who. If we are to truly call ourselves friends, Cabo will have to be dealt with. We understand each other, huh? Sure. I understand. Good. Uh, they'll probably come back to me. Capo wears a, a rosary given to him by his mother. He's never parted from it. Bring it to me. And I will know you have done your job. Capo. Go kill a man called Capo. Okay, so yeah, I literally am taking a break from fighting a war. To do a mob hit. Mafioso. Ah, the sniper. I hear you want to be our friend. War makes for strange alliances. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna gut you. The monastery is Capo's kingdom. But you'll never get in, unless you take out Castle Hill. Castle Hill guards the monastery? Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Certainly seems the monastery is being looked after. That's because of the abbot. He helped the fascists. Worked for them. 
both to protect his precious monastery and its treasures. Like I said, strange alliances. <laughs> Those anti-tank guns will decimate the Allies if we come this way. You think that's likely? Well, the Germans seem to think so. It's quiet now, but they've been firing on and off for the best part of a week. Could start up at any moment. Better neutralize them, Carl. Uh, I think that's it. Scenery. Gotta deal with them. Uh, I might not do m most of the side stuff. I might just do whatever side stuff's in my way. Possibly. Anyway. Find the documents. Ah, I prematurely fired. Oh, we did a backflip. That's impressive. That was impressive. I like that. I five out of ten. No, six out of ten. Maybe seven. He didn't do a backflip. Ah! Shit. Who's shooting me? Could be anyone. You think the mafia would sort of you know, stipulate that you know, whatever you do, do not start a shootout right outside our hideout. Because it would draw unwanted attention, you'd think. But nope, they don't care. They're like, yeah, shoot a bunch of Nazis outside, go ahead. Crack on. down there, I can't see him. I might see him. Yeah. Alright, he's moved, never mind. Ah! An officer! Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, in the next uh, few videos, I was thinking of adding... Uh, well, on the next... Like, probably not in the rest of this walkthrough, but definitely in the... Eee, definitely in the next walkthrough I do commentary for, I was thinking of adding... Uh, like a little bit in the beginning, where I ask... Just pause a few questions, I go into questions, 
And then that's probably what, you know, you can sort of talk about in the comments if you like. And if you have any questions for me, I can always answer them in the next, like, few videos and so on. Because, yeah, uh, I don't usually do video game commentary. I mean, the majority of the stuff on my uh, channel is just walkthroughs without commentary. But, uh. He took a lot. But, yeah, one of my uh, friends basically said I should probably try doing more commentated walkthroughs, so I thought, yeah, why not? So I chose a few games. Uh, this is one of them. The Forest was the one I did before this. Next, I'm thinking I might be doing Wolfenstein. Uh, the, old, the Old Blood. Might do that. There's a few games. I might do the I might do Arkham Knight as well. Uh, I did When I did Arkham Knight, I did commentary. With only a few videos, like select videos, because at the time I didn't own... I'll, I'll talk more about like the setup I have in the next video. Um, but yeah, I didn't have much of uh, like my, my PS4 was kind of like broke, so I didn't have much capability in sort of recording videos and so on, and doing like what I'm doing now, uh, commentated videos. I had to use my brother's PlayStation, which meant I had to wait until he was in work. I could only do it in like weekdays for like six hours or something. I only make like a few videos, blah blah blah. But now it's a bit easier. It's a bit, yeah, I can I can make videos. Which I'm very happy about. So I'm just going to be making full use of this now. I'm using a headset though, so the audio is not great. I do apologize. Because the problem I have as well Running is I'm very... When I'm playing, I'm very quiet. I like to concentrate on the game, but I'm trying to break. Boom! Yeah, I'm trying to break that sort of habit now and try and talk a bit more and become a bit more lively, a bit more animated. Uh, I know the first few videos of this walkthrough I was a, I'm a bit quiet on, but yeah, it's a, it's a learning experience for me. Hence why I'm doing older games now, like older walkthroughs and so, well, it's like walkthroughs for like older games. Games I already have walkthroughs for on my channel. Uh, and this is just something a little bit different I'm doing. I'm hoping people will enjoy, or at least have some entertainment out of... Where's... Ooh, hello. I'm out of ammo. Oh, sugar. Uh, yep, no point in, no point in lingering around here. Nothing I can do. Nothing much to. Yeah, there's nothing much to grab around you, ammo-wise, because I need a lot of ammo. Like, rifle ammo. Uh... Oh. Hey, eight rums, that's fine. No more to find here. I'll come in handy.
Guess I grabbed everything useful. Alright, uh, let's do that again. Let's try that again, shall we? But yeah, I'm just trying to do something a bit different now, and I hope uh, I get a bit better as the walkthrough goes on. I'm hoping to start... I'm hoping to, like, I'll probably jot down a few ideas, like the little ask question at the beginning of the video thing. And so on, and just add to it. That way I'll have... That way I'll have a little bit more to go on, you know, a little bit more like structure with these videos. Um, so I'm thinking of like doing the whole thing at the beginning where I ask if you can leave a like and a comment. I'll do it at the beginning instead of the end because I've been doing it at the end for a few videos. And I think it sort of breaks to the, uh, it's easier to get that out of the way with at the start. Dead. I am dead. Uh, hang on. Oh, that's a, it's a bloody tank. I need to figure out where the hell I threw that TNT. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. Alright, let's we'll start from checkpoint. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere near it, though. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere near the, uh, near the tank, which is what I want. Like, that landed somewhere over there. Ooh! I know what to do. Not something I say very often.
Ah, you still alive. Does that does that destroy? No, it doesn't. Shit, the the gunner still alive. The gunner and the the driver still. Oh, can't say. Um. No, I need that. This could be handy. Alright. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. I will get through this. Even if I have to use the most heinous of things. Stealth. Heinous? Heinous? Uh... Shoot something shooting at me, I just can't tell where. Or who. Or what. That's why I haven't seen it. I was standing next to that tank when they launched it. Run, run, run. I say that most headshots are through the brain, but that just highlighted the brain weirdly. Surrounded. I'm surrounded. On all sides by Nazis. Step. 
Oh! I didn't know they had that kind of firepower. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this video here. So I think on the next video I'm probably going to be talking about my setup, like how I'm making these videos. I've touched upon it in the past when I've done commentated walkthroughs, I haven't really talked about it properly. So I'll be doing that with this video. Um, and probably talking a bit more about what to expect in like future commentated walkthroughs, because I'm if I can get like a setup going, I'll probably make this more of a of a new of like a normal thing. Like I'll probably still do I'll just still do commentaries without like uh, walkthroughs without commentaries because I know people do like those commentaries, but I'll also do these as well for some games uh, if I really enjoy the game. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. I hope you've all enjoyed the video.